So I was walking down the street the other day and I saw a sign that said, Talking Dog for Sale. So I thought, man, I'll check this out. I go in and I talk to the owner. He says, hey, check out my dog out back, see for yourself. So I go out and say, hey, dog, you a talking dog? And he says, yep. And I said, well, what's your story, dog? And he says, well, you know, I found out early about my ability to talk and I went to the CIA and I said, hey, why don't I be a spy? I can listen in on conversations. And that's just what I did. They jetted me all around the world because no one would figure that a dog was listening in on them. So, hey, uh, I sat there, I listened, I gave the secrets to the CIA. Uh, but then all that traveling around, that I didn't like that anymore. So I decided to work for the airport here nearby. I would sit in, bust some drug deals, listen to people when they weren't paying attention, and spill all the stories to the authorities who would nab the bad guys. And, you know, I figured after that, I had done my duty, had won a bunch of medals, decided to settle down, have some puppies, and here I am, retired today. So I went to the owner after I heard this great story from the dog, and the, uh, I said, how much do you want for this dog? He's amazing. And the owner said, eh, $10. And I said to the owner, I can't believe it, this dog is so great, why are you only selling it for $10? And the owner said, well, he's just a big old liar, he didn't do any of that stuff. shall not bear false witness. What does this mean? Here it is right from Luther's small catechism. We are to fear and love God so that we do not tell lies about our neighbors, betray or slander them, or destroy their reputation. Instead, we are to come to their defense, speak well of them, and interpret everything they do in the best possible way. God forbids us to lie, to tell lies about our neighbors, to tell lies about anywhere whether that's in a court of law or just around the dinner table. And we do this so easily in so many ways, whether it's a little fib or a big untruth. God is saying, don't lie. If it's not true, don't say it. Be honest. And if you don't know, don't make something up. It's that easy. Although, even at times, it can be so hard. It's so easy to lie when we want to look cool or we want people to like us or we're trying to get out of trouble. Oh, I've done that so many times myself. I remember once when I was little, my parents said, Aaron, you can't go to, to the corner store to buy candy. And I was like, oh, I really want to go. I want some candy. And so I lied. I lied to them. And then to make it worse, I lied to my neighbor. I said, I went over to my neighbor's house and we begged, a couple friends and I, we begged him for some money. We were like, oh, can you give us some money to go to the corner store? Uh, you know, we just thought we'd like to go over there and buy some candy. And this is after my parents told me not to go. And so I went over there, and we got some candy, we came back, I totally got caught. Not only did I lie to my parents, I lied to the neighbor as well. Ah, it was so bad. And I felt bad. I, I had disobeyed my parents, I deceived them, I deceived my neighbor, all because I wanted some candy. Uh, the things you do as a kid. Anyways, don't tell lies. That's the first part. Pretty simple. The straightforward part. God forbids you to betray someone. That is, basically, you spill their secrets. You let the cat out of the bag. You uh, hear something that a friend tells you in confidence and says, can you keep this a secret? And then you go and tell it to someone who shouldn't hear it. There you go. Don't betray your friends. Here's Mrs. Robach with a story about how she experienced a lie and felt betrayed because something she was promised uh, d was not followed through on. Well, two companies merged and there was uh, 16 out of 80 of us brought into a new company. And when we went over, they promised us that we would go up to the same level of pay, um, the same insurance, um, that we would keep our seniority because I had worked seven years at this previous company. 
um, and that that would go towards our pension. Seven years is a long time to not get a pension um, when you retire. So um, we had all expected within 30 days that we would all be getting this, you know, what they had promised. And um, I think about three, four months went by and we hadn't heard anything, so we called a meeting with the president, um, who we all knew really well, and, and asked him what was going on with the equal pay thing and the equal insurance and the equal 401k match and um, equal pension and the equal um, vacation time we were supposed to get and he basically said it's not going to happen. And although we were really happy to be 16 out of 80 people to get to keep our jobs, the morale went so low because it was a significant amount of money and a significant amount of benefits that would have um, gave us all much better much better jobs than we had and it never did happen and it was it was a very big lie and it was very disheartening that um, they were untruthful with us that's my story god forbids you to drag someone's reputation through the mud to put someone down to speak someone about someone behind their back to say nasty things about them when they're not there to defend themselves and even in front of them to drag someone's reputation down, to take their name and make it uh, a bad thing, um, is not your job. That's not a, a good thing. God is forbidding you to do that, to say evil things about one another. What are the positive things that we should do? What is God asking us to do in this commandment? First, we should speak well about our neighbor. We should protect their reputation. If you hear someone else gossiping, if you hear someone else calling someone names, you should say, don't say those things about that person. That person uh, has more to their story than that. You don't know everything about that situation. We should be kind to that person and give people the benefit of the doubt. Second, we ought to praise each other. This is the good things that you can say. In fact, we ought to build up people's reputation. We should look for the good that is in them and then share that with other people. So if you see a good thing about someone, you can tell them, you can tell other people. Build up someone's reputation. The third and the last thing that we should do that God is asking us to do is to interpret people's actions in the best possible way. This is really, uh, I would say, the most difficult thing to do, but also the most beneficial because it helps you and the person who you're speaking about. When we speak well about people and we look at their actions and we look at their words and we say, yeah, you know, that, that, that wasn't so bad or that could have gone better, but, you know, it's not the end of this, the world, you, uh, you, put a, you put a positive spin on it because that person um, was is a child of God and we ought to love them. By putting a positive spin on things, by, by looking for the redeeming faculties, we are showing love. And that's another way of showing love. And it's another way of